Hello and welcome to this episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. My name's Nathan Brockman and I'm the butterfly wing curator here at the gardens. And on this episode, we're going to talk about a very special butterfly which we received back in May of 2008. The individual I'm referring to is a leopard lacewing which is exhibiting genandromorphic traits. The origin of the word genandromorph is Greek, with gin signifying female and andor signifying a male, literally making a genandromorph part male and part female. A genandromorph is formed due to a misplacement of a chromosome during cell division. Unlike humans that use an XY notation for sex chromosomes, Lepidoptera use a Z and W scheme. A female is designated by a ZW, while a male would be ZZ. It is the number of Z chromosomes that truly determines the sex of the individual. For a genanomorph to form, a cell, such as a male cell, which would be ZZ, has to replicate, creating a cell with four Zs, and then divide, but instead of creating a normal male cell with two Zs each, instead it creates one cell with three Zs, and another with one. In a lot of species, a genanomorph could easily be overlooked, especially if both male and females look similar. In a species such as the leopard lacewing, which is sexually dimorphic, there can be drastic differences in appearance from the male and female. Now depending on which cell division the misplacement of chromosome occurs, you can actually end up with different looking individuals. In the case of our leopard lacewing, the misplaced chromosome occurred in the first cell division, which created a bilateral genandromorph. It is possible to have a misplacement of a chromosome, or non-disjunction, occur in a later cell division, which creates a different looking individual on a specific part of that butterfly. It's even possible to have several non-disjunctions occur over several cell divisions, creating a mosaic individual. The genandromorph leopard lacewing was released into the Christina Ryman butterfly wing along with 49 other individuals which came in the same shipment from Malaysia. Since the butterfly wing opened in 2002, we've flown over a thousand leopard lacewing individuals and well over a hundred thousand total individuals. This is the very first genandromorph that we received and who knows it may be the last that we receive. They are very special and highly coveted and they do happen in the wild, but a lot of times they're overlooked and individuals die well before anyone gets a chance to see them. So the fact that we had one at Ryman Gardens is a very special occasion. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. For more information about Ryman Gardens or to see other videos, please visit our website at rymangardens.com. Thank you. Thank you.